So yesterday we took a look at a bit of a slideshow. You filled in some notes. We talked about reducing, which means to decrease or cut down on the amount of materials used and disposed of. Um, we talked about some examples, talked about some advantages, and that, that saves money and less waste to the landfill, less that needs to be recycled. Also that there's less energy that's used. Um, we talked about some of the disadvantages. You might have to sacrifice a little bit of what you want. Okay, um, reducing waste does take time and energy. It's possible it can be expensive. Okay. We also talked about recycling, which means to collect and reprocess manufactured materials to be changed into a new form or a new use. All right. um, we talked about cardboard being recycled, about metal cans being recycled, aluminum cans. Um, glass as well as plastic bottles and you have seen um, a variety of pictures and videos of recycling right we watched a video on recycling aluminum cans we watched another one on recycling plastics so you've seen a little bit of kind of the process of doing that All right um, we talked yesterday at the end about some advantages right we can make new products made from used items um, less waste being sent to landfills, dumps, and incinerators, and less raw materials need to be sourced. Okay. Um, recycling some disadvantages. All right. So it takes lots of time and electric energy in order to recycle. It can be expensive. Um, energy used by recycling plants is often oil, gas, or coal, which does mean that although we're decreasing on waste, we might be making a little bit more pollution. Um, there are still lots of products that cannot be recycled. Recycled products are often of lesser quality. All right, that takes us to the last part here. So definition. Um, to reuse is to use something again rather than send it to a landfill. So if we're going to you know, write definition down here, feel free to pause. In fact, I encourage you to pause after I get this underlined. So reuse is to use something again. Um, that's going to be a short enough definition, easy to write down. So pause that. Go ahead and add that onto your note sheet. So you paused, you've written it down, excellent. So now, before you throw something away or recycle it, think about whether or not you can reuse it again. Lots of items can be used more than once. All right, here's some examples. So some containers can be reused, right? Water bottles, plastic containers for lunch, shopping, or even lunch bags can be cleaned, possibly, and then reused. Okay. You can reuse your old food scraps by composting them. Compost becomes rich nutrients that you can put in your garden soil to help your plants grow. Um, reuse clothing, books, and toys. Pass them down to younger family members or donate them to second-hand or thrift shops. Sell them at a garage sale. Reuse paper by writing on the other side. If you've got wrapping paper or gift bags, use them again if you can. Um, reuse materials for craft, science experiments, and for artwork. Right, so a few examples here. Um, we can reuse containers. Okay. Reuse old food scraps by composting. Okay. You can reuse clothing, books, and toys. You can reuse paper by writing on the other side. Um, and reuse materials for crafts, science experiments, and artwork. All right, so pause. So you can pause here and um, make sure that you've got everything down. If you need to reverse it to get the underlining, go ahead and do that. Some advantages to reusing. Oops. This thing over out of the way. 
One advantage is that it saves money. If you reuse items, you do not need to go out and buy a new one. Reusing clothes, books, toys, bikes, and so much more can save you and your family lots of money. Reusing it saves energy. Okay, it saves time and energy making a new item. Um, and then for you, the time and money it takes to go buy it. Means that there's less waste going into the landfill, or less waste that needs to be recycled. This is the most important advantage to reusing because it means less waste in landfills and less waste that needs to be processed and recycled. All right, so pause if you need to. Make sure you get those down. All right, some disadvantages. There are disadvantages. Again, similar to what we talked about earlier. Um, with reducing, um, it can mean sacrificing what you want, right? Oh, that was a, not a good underline. Let's try again. Sacrificing what you want. That's slightly better. Not everyone wants their older brother's bike. Kids and adults often want the shiny new bike or new car. Reusing an older item can mean it is worn or torn. Okay. Not everything can be reused. Okay. There are some items that are meant to be waste after the first use. Um, napkins, diapers, syringes. So if you're at the doctor's office, you don't want them to reuse the syringes that somebody else got used. Um, some... Whoops. Try that again. Not everything can be reused. Um, think about uh, even at the school, right? Um, you have cloth masks that you can reuse, but you got to wash them. You also sometimes, if you forget one or somebody forgets one, there are the disposable ones. Those aren't meant to be used more than once, right? We can't use those day after day. Um, it does take time and energy. You have to think ahead. Right. And that takes us to the end of the disadvantages. A couple questions to discuss and be ready to discuss as a group. Um, first, we'll talk about a couple other methods to minimize waste. So we've got some things we can compost. Okay. It, it does provide gardening soil full of nutrients. doesn't cause pollution costs very little money and you can do it at home. It reduces the amount of food and yard waste going to landfills. Actually some bigger centers um, and even where I live in Coaldale um, collects compost. Um, so if I, you know, for example, leaves, they will collect them. I don't have to burn them. I don't have to send them to the dump. They will collect them and they take them to a um, large compost facility. Um, and then that facility can actually sell the compost um, to help people with their gardens. Um, disadvantages, it is a slow process. Decomposers break down natural waste at their own rate. Not all food scraps can be composted easily. Um, people have to put in effort to do it. Space is needed to store a compost bin. Lots of cities and towns do not have a compost program. So if you, you know, if for example, I do. Other places I know do not. Donating. Okay. Um, this would allow clothing and household items to be used again. Gives lots of secondhand stores lots of products to sell at low cost. You can support charities that work with secondhand stores. Again, it keeps reusable items out of landfills. Okay. Disadvantages, time and effort. Um, and not all items can be reused. So, obviously, not all items can be donated. All right, so the questions here then. Um, how does recycling or other methods still have an impact on pollution and carbon emissions? Again, these are some questions you can discuss with the class. Also, as you reflect on these methods to minimize waste, what are some things that come to your mind? And once you've thought through those, be ready to discuss with the rest of the class and talk to you later.